Are you looking for a woodworking tool with the precision of a woodpecker's tool, but at a fraction of the cost, you came to the right place? Recently, we found a website called chipsfly.com where we stumbled across a brand of tools called eye gauging. Eye gauging offers a wide range of quality precision tools, including digital readout kits for your drill press or planer at affordable prices. We specifically ordered six different measuring tools and we were extremely surprised at their durable construction and accuracy. Today we'll show you those tools and share their prices with you. Before we begin, let us quickly say we are not sponsored by anyone and we purchase these tools with our own money. What's up guys? Welcome to the bunker. I'm Johnny. This is my wife Tanya. Hi guys. Thank you for joining us. These are the six tools that we'll be showing you today. I have a couple of double squares, a center finder ruler, a combination square, two bench squares, a hook rule, and a T-bevel. I must say, they are some very sharp looking tools, guys. Yeah, they are. They're pretty nice, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys. The first measuring tool we have for you is the six inch combination square. This combination square is a steel ruler with a cast iron body. It's got the bubble level right here. It's got markings on this side every one eighth of an inch down here every one sixteenth of an inch on this side it's every 30 seconds of an inch up here and then down here it's every 64th of an inch so it's a very handy tool that can be used for many things you can use it as a height gauge when you measure the blade on your table saw or maybe your router you can measure the height using this combination square. There's so many uses for the combination square. I'm sure most of you know of different ways to use it. You know, there's multiple ways. You can mark a 45 degree angle, mark a 90 degree angle, and these tools are very accurate. I'm gonna use my woodpecker's delve square just to check the squareness. That's perfectly square right there. The price for the combination square at chipsfly.com is $23. What would something like this cost from woodpeckers? About $109.99. There's quite a difference. That's a huge difference, guys, yeah. from this to woodpeckers, and it's just as precise as a woodpeckers combination square. It also comes with this attachment. You can use it to find the center of a dowel. This is cast iron as well. It comes together for that price that Tanya just mentioned. The second measuring tool we will be looking at is this bevel center finder rule. This is 12 inches long. It's got one through 12 on this side, but on this side you got the zero in the middle so that you can find the center of a board. Like let's say you wanna find the center of this you make sure that the measurement on each side is the same so the center would be right at the zero just like that on the back it has a bevel gauge has the markings for different angles i'll show you in just a minute once we introduce another one of the tools that we ordered i'll show you how we can use this in combination with the following tool the next tool that Johnny's talking about is the six inch sliding bevel. Okay guys, this is the sliding bevel. This is stainless steel. It's small, smaller than your normal T bevels that they sell at the big box stores. You use it of course to measure angles. If you have a, an angle that you need to cut on your piece of wood and you need to cut it, let's say on the miter saw, but you don't know what angle it is specifically, that's when you would use the center finder rule. One quick thing, this here, the, the screw is recessed so you can actually place it flat onto your workpiece so you don't have to uh, worry about it, you know, tilting or anything like that. So that, let's... That definitely must help with accuracy, right? Right, okay. it does, definitely. Now here, let's say you have an angle that you need to cut. You measure the angle using the sliding T-bevel. Let's say that that's your angle right there. So you slide it till you match the angle that's on this ruler. And this one is right at 33 degrees. Now the prices, we forgot to give you the price on, on the center finder rule, which also has the bevel gauge on the other side. What was the price on that? Okay, the eye gauging price for the ruler is $15. What However, about? the woodpecker's price 
is $29.99. So double the price on woodpeckers. Yep. And woodpeckers is a center finder ruler and it doesn't have the bevel gauge like this one does. So you get this added feature on the rule. At woodpeckers, you don't. The cool thing about this one, like I said, I just love how compact it is. It's very durable, pretty heavy for its size. And I really especially like the fact that this is recessed so you can lay it flat on your workpiece. And you're gonna be surprised at the price of this here. What is the price on this one? Wow, yeah, Johnny's right. The sliding, the eye gauging price is six dollars. Six bucks, guys, six dollars. Yeah. Now what about so woodpeckers? Then that's definitely a steal when you add up both of them up together by far. Yeah, it's great. I love this little tool. Now woodpeckers, offers this in a four inch not not the six inch. which is even smaller than this for how much for the price of a hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so it's, and this is six dollars you could yeah. buy you so could buy like almost 20 20 yeah almost 20 of these for the for what one costs at woodpeckers and woodpeckers is even smaller than this one Consider consider these tools guys it's it's a very good brand I gauging chipsfly.com that's where we purchase these tools. And I think uh, eye gauging's headquarters is in San Clemente, California. But Chips Fly, I'm not too sure where Chips Fly is located, but they have so many different products that you can choose from. The next product is a six inch hook rule. This is stainless steel construction and all these tools are laser engraved and all the measurements are in black. They're not going to rub off or wear off. They're going to be very durable. Like the combination square, this has increments in one eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, thirty seconds of an inch and sixty fourth of an inch. There's many ways you can use it and to get down to the sixty fourth and be extremely accurate with it. It's possible with this and even the combination square because it had the same measurements as this hook rule does. With the hook rule, you can mark a 90 degree mark or line. And let's just check the squareness of it because, you know, this portion is very short. So I kind of worry about the accuracy of the square, the squareness of it. Put this right on the line. Put this up. Yep, perfect, guys. Perfectly square, this little angle or this little hook ruler. So, the price of the six inch hook ruler with eye gauging is six dollars. Six bucks, just like the sliding bevel. Does woodpeckers that, that they have one? Yes, they do. And if you bought it from them, it would be $24.99 six bucks or 25 dollars from woodpeckers if you want to save tons of money eye gauging is the brand to go with guys just as precise as woodpeckers i'm not saying that woodpeckers is a bad company woodpeckers is a great company i have several tools from woodpeckers mm -hmm. the only thing is i wish i would have found chipsfly.com or eye gauging tools before i even bought my woodpeckers tools i would have saved a lot of money i just want to make sure that you're informed of what's out there i want you all to get the most for your money guys that's all we want because woodpeckers is a very reputable company we all know that made but, in the usa you know yeah but their prices are extremely high and they might not be for everyone they're not in woodpeckers is not in everyone's budget it's not even in mine but i still bought a few some that i could afford but now that I'm finding brands like eye gauging, I'm glad I found them because I can start buying tools from them rather than pay double, triple, or quadruple from other companies. Okay, so our fifth tool is a four and six inch double square set. I have no idea what that is, guys. So let's find out. I forgot to mention, but the combination square that I showed you earlier comes in a padded case, a plastic case, but it's padded inside so it protects the tool. Just like this double square set, it's a four and a six inch. These are very handy tools. You can do so much with these, just like with the combination square, except for the fact that you can't mark a 45 degree angle with it. And it's a good layout tool and you can use it as a height gauge. You can use it as a depth gauge, check the depth of a groove or a dado or just to check the thickness of a board just like right here I drop the blade down to the table with the body on the workpiece 
and then you just lock it into place and it shows you that it's three quarters of an inch thick you know and you can do the same like I said with a groove you can measure the depth or the height of your table saw blade you set this on the table of the table saw and lift up the blade till it hits the body and you get the exact depth that you set it on or that you set it at so you get the six inch and the four inch you can mark a line that's that's parallel to the edge from whatever distance you set it at you can mark a 90 degree line now let's check that one it's right on yeah. it's nice and square this one right here and like the combination square this is the cast iron body with a stainless steel ruler laser etched measurements so they're not gonna rub off or wear off very handy there's so many uses for this tool just like with the combination square and you get two of them these two right here a little one a little guy and the bigger one yep what was so it? okay i have a question the four inch is going to offer exactly the same the 64 30 second everything's the same right i forgot to mention that guys again it also has on one side of the blade it's got one eighth of an inch increments one sixteenth of an inch on the other side 30 seconds and 60 fourths on the bottom so yeah all of the tools that we've shown you so far well the combination square this square and the hook rule i'll have the same incremental measurements on the blade so they're very useful it doesn't matter how precise or accurate you want to be you'll find one side of the rule that will do the job for you yeah this is an awesome tool as well and it came in the set how much That's was you. the set the set the four and six inch set from eye gauging was 26 dollars. 26 dollars for two 13 bucks a piece yeah you can't beat that woodpeckers does sell this type of instrument but the four inch only the four inch alone and to buy the four inch alone would be 129.99 wow again $26 for a six inch and a four inch or 129 for a four inch alone from woodpeckers it's it's a big difference guys I'm glad I found these tools me too <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we just want to save money and we want you all to save as much money as possible as well these measuring tools these are just as precise as woodpeckers so why even spend more okay well our last show guys will be the four and seven inch bench square set. I'm gonna show you the seven inch because the four inch, same as the seven, but that way I don't have to go over both of them. I'll just show you what the seven inch can do and the four inch, the four inch will do the same thing. Once again, what are these, these are made out of what? Oh, these are anodized aluminum. This might look like a speed square, but this does much more than a speed square. It's, this is not just for construction or framing like a speed square is. This can be for furniture making. There's so many things you can do with this. Let me show you. First of all, the base has a quarter inch offset here and three eighths inch offset here. This is a three quarter inch thick material. I'm using the three eighths of an inch offset, placing it here on the edge of the board. If I mark a line right here, since this is, I'm using the three eighths of an inch offset, that's exactly half of three quarters of an inch. You can make a mark at exactly half of the thickness of the board if it's a three quarter inch. If you use the quarter inch side on half inch material, you can mark the center of the half inch material this has measurements right here on the base i believe these are in 30 second of an inch increments you set this on its side like this on your table saw and you can use it as a height gauge to bring your blade up to whatever height you need it if you need it up to at two inches you bring it up the blade up to two inches and you can set the height like that you can use this to check your table saw blade for square by putting this against, this is the blade, put it against the blade 
to check for square. You can put it against your miter saw blade to make sure it's square. You can use it to find, to make sure your drill press bit is square or even your bandsaw blade. Just set it up against the blade. It has scribe holes right here and there's a hole for every 16th of an inch up to seven inches. If I want to mark a half inch line, I put it in the half inch slot. You got the half inch. Also, also this edge right here, you make a mark and it's exactly half inch away from the edge. And this mark is exactly one inch from the edge. Mm -hmm. This, you can mark a 90 degree right here. Let's see, let's check the squareness of it. Put the mark, pencil mark right on the line. It's perfectly square, guys. Right there. You can mark a 45 degree angle, like this. If you wanna mark a quick 30 degree line, it says 30 right here. This is a 30 degree angle. And this one is a 45. Of course, this is 45 also, but it's got it, again, right here you also have the angle measurements on this side and just like a speed square let's say i want to mark a 40 degree angle there's the 40 right there i pivot with this side pivot till i get the 40 degree mark right on the edge of the board and i mark a line that's 40 degrees now how about we check this i want to make sure this is 40 degrees by using that other tool that we have the sliding bevel yeah okay that's a good idea we're using the sliding bevel to get this angle set okay then we get the bevel gauge Move the sliding bevel till it lines up perfectly with one of the lines on, on the bevel gauge. Right there, right on 40. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. So, yeah. That's very interesting. Very useful. A lot more than you can do with a speed square, guys. So yeah, that was the 4 inch and the 7 inch. I showed you the 7 inch, but the 4 inch pretty much does the same thing, but it's a smaller version. And they both, the 4 inch also has, has that offset, the quarter inch on one side and the 3 eighths of an inch on the other to help you find the center of a 3 quarter inch material or half inch material. Okay, so the eye gauging price for these cute little blue uh, tools. Bench squares. Bench squares is $69. 69 bucks. However, this set is available at Woodpeckers as well, but for a much different price. It's three hundred and sixty-nine ninety-nine. Wow! So seventy once... bucks or three hundred and seventy from Woodpeckers. Yes. Yeah, so... Those were the six tools by eye gauging that we purchased from an online store called chipsfly.com. You can find the link to that website in the description below. Mm -hmm. Also, you can find the links to each individual mm -hmm. tool that we featured today down in the description. So as we've mentioned before guys, if woodpeckers is not within your budget and you want precision tools, just head over to chipsfly.com and guys, you won't be disappointed. We simply want you to get the most for your money and we hope this video was helpful. If so, click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Guys, please let us know in the comment section where you're from and how long you've been woodworking or, or if you're new to woodworking. With all that said, we want to thank you for watching. Y'all take it easy. And remember, exercise your right to bear tools. Over and out. Bye, guys.